Hi you guys, this is Tori with Truth Be Told. Welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time, welcome. Come on in, have a seat, and relax. Now guys, today's video is about this young lady named Nicole Johnson. Now you guys, she was talking to this guy for a year. And he pretty much was cheating on her. I don't want to say the whole time, but he was cheating on her with another young lady. And the her this young lady used to get into the young lady used to come to her house. And I mean, she's she he was a cheater. So, you guys, one night she decided to go to this party. It was a Halloween party. She went to the Halloween party, came back home. Um, the girl pretty much was blowing her phone up. She finally answered the phone. The girl and her started to argue the girl because the girl saw the girl that he was cheating on cheating on her with saw um, I guess that he was at her house the night before. So the girl was in her feelings. She was mad. So Nicole, like, listen, you can have him. I don't want him no more. He's with you. He's with, like, just, you can just have him. She, They hung up. The girl called back. The girl was like, listen, when I see you, I'm going to hurt you. And next thing you know, Nicole said, Nicole, like I said, the girl pulled up in his van. He had a van. The van was pretty loud. So Nicole knew it was his van. She got the window. She sees somebody dressed in all black. Um, getting out the, the van so she go outside i don't know she I guess she thought it was him but she goes outside the girl pulled the gun out the girl shot her 17 times um that's sad guys i mean she had to do that she had to go through all that because he wanted to still be a cheater he had to have both females like he was lying to her and lying to the other female and that happened she got shot 17 times so you guys before i let the video play and you actually hear it um, tell the story um for any female that's going through that um right now with any guy or for guys going through it let it go once the first sign okay you might say okay he's cheating okay i'm gonna get another chance okay you get another chance and he continue to show you who we are like who he is like pretty much just let it go because you can end up in a situation like this or worse like just let it go like it makes no sense um if he mentally abuse you physically like Abuse, let it go. You don't need it. You don't need to sit there and be like, oh, okay, he loves me. Um, he talked crazy to me. He's, he talked down on me. He he don't encourage me, but he loves me. That's not true, sis. Um, he beats on me, um, but he loves me. No, no, he don't, sis. Then you know, here, here is me. It's me. Tori telling you he, he don't love you. Um, he sit there and cheats on me over and over again. Um, but he's at home with me at night. He come home to me or he gonna come back. Or, you know, he may be with you for a little while, but guess what? He'll always, he know what home is. You sounding real dumb. Like, don't do that, sis. Don't repeat things they used to say back in the day. That's, you sound real stupid and ignorant. Don't do that. Like, no. So if you're going through it, you need somebody to pray with you, talk to you. I'm that person. Just inbox me or hit me up on here. Just say, can we talk? Can I, is it inbox you or whatever? Um, just like I said, just hit me up. You're going through it because I promise you, you don't need to. We all are people, we all are queens. And you don't need for a guy or a guy. And you're a king because some guys go through this too. You don't need to go through this at all. So, guys, let's get into the video. Cheating on me with came to my home and shot me. Um, at the time, I was seeing this guy. Almost a year into our relationship, he began to be unfaithful. The girl my boyfriend was cheating on me with, she became a living nightmare. She would always come to my house when she knew me and him was together. He was just playing the middleman. He was telling her one thing, telling me one thing, and I just got fed up with it after a while. Me and him had kind of drifted apart. It was Halloween 2020. I had a party to go to at the end of the day. I had a nice, pretty costume. I picked up my best friend and we headed out to the party. I came home and I decided just to chill out on the couch and watch the television. And then I got a phone call from the girl. I answered and it was her in the bed with him. She had went through his phone that night and seen that me and him were together the day prior. She was very upset. I said, you can have him. He's clearly there with you. Good luck. So I hung up the phone and she called me back. She said, I'll come shoot up your windows. I just wrote it off as fight talk. I started to get ready to go to bed. My boyfriend at the time, he had this old van, has this like loud motor. I hear the 
motor of his van. So I look out the window and it was his van and I see someone in all black come out the car. I just immediately ran outside. And as I'm walking up, I'm realizing it's the girl. I asked her, what was she doing here? She pulls out the gun and I just froze. I just knew she was going to kill me at that moment. She immediately just started shooting. The first three shots, she hit my stomach. It just felt like the wind got knocked out of my body. It felt like I was in a room of fire. I was face down on the ground and she still continuing to shoot me in my back and in my legs. And I'm just screaming for help. My neighbor on the top floor, I hear her scream out her window, stop, leave her alone. I called the police. She's just saying, die, die. And that moment I just said, okay, Nicole, you gotta stop screaming. You have to play dead because she's not gonna leave until she thinks you're dead. Eventually she ran off to the car. My neighbor, she was down like in two seconds. She started to hold my hand and I'm drenched in blood. I remember hearing the sirens coming. The ambulance, they rushed me off to the hospital. When I'm in the hospital, I can feel just a thousand people surrounding me and they're counting. I'm not understanding what they're counting. I was put into a medically induced coma. I woke up four days later and I realized that they were counting my gunshot wounds. When I woke up, they told me that I had been shot 17 times. I got shot multiple times in my legs. I couldn't even feel them when I woke up. The first time, Seeing my mom after getting shot was on a tablet. I couldn't see her. It was COVID. I just remember her telling me, you fight, you be strong, you're gonna live through this. They told me that I probably wouldn't be walking, but I was walking in rehab within three weeks. Very good. I do walk with the walker. I'm kind of slower than I used to be. I went through a deep depression after being shot, having suicidal thoughts every day. I lived through 17 bullets and I still didn't want to be here because the pain was just so unbearable. I didn't recognize myself anymore. Relying on people for transportation and to do things for me was just miserable. I do still have my days, but I'm dealing with it better. I was able to give the police her name while I was in the hospital. So they had her in custody within the next hour or so. She's been in county jail awaiting her trial. She actually stole my boyfriend's van while he was asleep that night. He was very apologetic and he felt bad. But once he was assured that I was alive and well, he kind of went back to his old ways. I don't hate her. I went through a long process of why me? Why did this have to happen to me? It's my story and I survived it. I just feel like guns are so unnecessary. It's so easy to get a gun off the street. I just want to help other people just to put the guns down and stop the violence. It's not worth it. So you guys, you see her in a wheelchair on one side of the picture. I'm quite sure she probably said physical therapy that would look like. Um, and then you see her guys in a walker walking with a walker like she's standing up getting out of the car with a walker um this is sad like continue to pray for her you guys um even right here she's walking at home with a walker while she's like she's walking up and down the side while just trying to be getting her life back um it's hard and this happened last year sometime and this April the second of this year you guys she's still walking still learning trying to be her strength like I said If you guys do go to her page, that's why the Bell Crazy page is really public. So that's why I left the name and everything up. Um, so if you happen to do go there, this is all love. Tell her about your life if you're going through something. I'm quite sure y'all can, she can relate. So you guys just make sure, like I said, to stay positive when you go over there. I guess this is a picture of her doing an update. And this is May the 11th. Um, of this year, you guys, she don't have her walker with her, which meaning she's doing, like she says right here, um, she says, I'm good. Like, she's good and she's blessed. And that's wonderful. I'm glad that she see a brighter side to this. I'm glad God brought her out of a situation that could have just took her life. Like, he didn't care. And that's why we always say, I, I tell my son, my son is older, I tell him, if you're going to get with a girl make sure you're with her for me like i tell my son do not have any titles like 
don't put titles on your girl because if you put titles on these girls, you mean call them their girlfriend. Um, if you put a title on what they got going on, these girls really take that to heart. We really did. We really do. I remember. Uh, I mean, I don't know. Anyways, these girls like they they crazy about my my son. That's that's crazy. I have no idea why. Um, because I do want to play, and that's why I'm telling him to stop. You will have crazy girls to do a situation like this. You'll have a crazy girl to hurt you, hurt the guy. Like girls, like because when our feelings is hurt, we want to. Obviously, see it's blood. Like a lot of us see blood. Some of us not. Some of us are mature enough to walk away. He's a cheater. He's not no good from this guy. Blessing showing me, and that's fine. But I tell my son all the time, you cannot be playing with these girls' heart. Like you cannot. So yeah, I'm happy for her. She's being blessed and keep and God, I'm, I'm, I pray to God to keep blessing her because that's beautiful to see that she don't need a walker. Like seventeen times she she was shot, shot seventeen times. It makes no sense. But yeah, you guys continue to pray for her. Like I said, I'm, I'm praying for her. I'm praying for every woman out here made it going through it. But okay, you guys, that is the end of the video. Um, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Um, and share the video. Make sure you tell a friend to tell a friend to tell another friend about Tori. Okay, you guys. Now, I also got a quick question. How many of you guys like Clubhouse? If you do, hit me up below.